In order to talk about nuclear energy, we have to talk about its history and where the term comes from. The atom is the main contributor of what we know as atomic or nuclear energy. Let's examine its origins. The Greek philosopher Democritus first defined the atom in the 5th century before Christ. Later, chemist John Dalton affirmed that all atoms are identical, and from then, on the work of other scientists centered in identifying and qualifying the elements. In 1896, French physicist Antoine Henri Becquerel discovered it that certain substances emitted unknown radiations, which he named radioactivity. After a series of discoveries, he became known as the father of nuclear energy. Around the same time, Pierre and Marie Curie, in their own research, discovered another element which had a more elevated activity and called it uranium. It currently fuels all nuclear plants. In 1900, German physicist Max Planck argued that energy was emitted in smaller quantities called quantum. Thus, a new field in physics was born, known as quantum mechanics, which set the research basis for nuclear energy. In 1939, at the onset of World War II, Albert Einstein, creator of the theory of relativity, advised U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt to develop the atomic bomb. Thus, atomic energy was used that way. Years later, in 1945, an uranium bomb called Little Boy, which was built with two uranium mazes projected onto explosives, was dropped on Hiroshima. A second bomb, made of plutonium, built on a hollow sphere made with that material, was dropped on Nagasaki. Those are the only cities that have been attacked by an atomic bomb. After these events, the United Nations drafted a resolution, which commissioned a new atomic energy commission with the task of studying the problems that arose from the discovery of nuclear energy. We are now going to Argentina, where in the last 10 years, the Argentine National Commission of Atomic Energy reactivated the use of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. More details in the following section. Argentina is currently among the top 10 countries in the world regarding nuclear development for peaceful purposes and it has greatly contributed to the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. Nos encontramos en un momento eh, estratégico en lo que se refiere al desarrollo científico y tecnológico en general en nuestro país y particularmente en lo que se refiere a la energía nuclear. Eh, esto se debe principalmente al relanzamiento del plan nuclear nacional este que se ha hecho del año 2006. En agosto de 2006 se reactivó de forma integral el plan nuclear en línea con las medidas que se han anunciado y desarrollado en general en todo el sector científico y tecnológico. The National Commission of Atomic Energy was created by ex-president Juan Domingo Perón on May 31, 1950. Since then, it has grown and consolidated, becoming the source of all activities regarding this sector currently developed in Argentina. Estamos desarrollando las capacidades de enriquecimiento de uranio, fabricación de combustible, el desarrollo de las aleaciones especiales para toda la industria nuclear y en la, la adquisición de las capacidades completas para la fabricación de centrales nucleares de potencia en nuestro país que tienen como hito central y con el que me gustaría remarcar sobre todo uno de los aspectos más importantes que es el CAREM, que la central argentina de elementos modulares es una central de potencia, es decir, que genera electricidad eh, del cual se está fabricando el prototipo en la, en la localidad de Atucha. Argentina is currently working on scientific research for technological development of nuclear energy and human resources. El grueso de la energía nuclear se concentra en lo que es la producción de, de energía eléctrica, que es una energía limpia, libre de gases de efecto invernadero, segura, confiable y barata sobre todo, y es una de las principales opciones para la mitigación de los gases de efecto invernadero. En otro punto, otro pilar importante de las aplicaciones de la energía nuclear es la medicina nuclear, que, en, que sirve básicamente para el tratamiento para tratamientos oncológicos. Currently, Argentina has two operational nuclear plants. Before this year's end, the government will launch Atucha 2, and a fourth nuclear plant is being developed, completely designed and built in Argentina. Edgar Esteban, Telesur, Buenos Aires. We are going to travel through time to remember something that has made our day today a bit easier. Let's see what is in our Technology Files segment.
If the wheel hadn't been invented, how will we go from one place to another today? This is probably one of the most important inventions in history. Any machine built since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution has, to some extent, a wheel component. Let's see how the wheel evolved. The invention of the wheel came about at the end of the Neolithic era in the year 5000 before Christ in Mesopotamia, where the potter's wheel was developed. It was later used in carriages and it reached Europe and Asia. The first wheels were basic wooden discs with a hole in the middle for the axle. In the year 2000 BC, the spoked wheel was invented in the north part of Central Asia, which allowed for the construction of faster and lighter vehicles. In the year 1500 BC, the Celtic people include an iron rim around the wheel, thus allowing, for the first time, a rudimentary bearing along the axle. In the middle of the 1st century BC, the Romans used bronze rings as bearing and the Danes tested, successfully, a system of cushions using wood rollers which helped decrease friction. There weren't many modifications until the 19th century when pneumatic tires were invented. In the 20th century, newer wheels are constructed using different alignments. This evolution happened along the development of the automobile, which required resistance, adherence and less wear and tear.